Hello, everyone, and welcome to our interview today with Antoine Boza. Hi, Antoine. Hello, Abby. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. So for everyone who doesn't know who you are, can you just briefly describe who you are and what it is that you do? So I'm a board game designer for now 12 years. Uh, I design game like uh, Seven Wonders, of course, but also Anabi, Tokaido, Takenoko. Uh, I'm living in the south part of France with my wife, uh, son and two cats. And when I'm not designing games, I'm riding my bike, uh, woodworking and uh, reading a lot. I don't know how you have the time to, to make games. That sounds like a really busy life. <laughs> yeah, but you know, usually you make games by night, so you have the day to, to do other stuff. <laughs> Amazing. So we're talking today about Seven Wonders version 2, the new version. Um, can you describe for us Seven Wonders in just one sentence? So Seven Wonders is a card drafting game with a civilization based themes that you can play in a half an hour and up to seven players. So obviously, after huge success, uh, I think it's the world's most awarded board game. Is that correct? Yep, that's correct. I think that's that counts as huge success. <laughs> um, so after huge success, you've decided to uh, launch version two of the game. Um, can you tell us a little bit about version two? What's new? So the game will uh, be 10 years uh, anniversary in October in the uh, SN Fair. So we wanted to, you know, just refresh it because uh, we still think um, the, the game design is pre pretty solid and that's why the game is, uh, is uh, played again and again and even after 10 years. But we wanted to make small changes because a lot, a lot of people played a lot, a lot of games. So uh, we were able to gather a lot of feedbacks and we uh, wanted to tweak some little uh, details on the game. So uh, we, during the year, we, with the publisher, we made the file and we uh, put every, every point we want to discuss for, for making a, a new version of the game. And uh, we, decide, uh, we decided to do it for the 10 years of the, of the game. So it's really heavily influenced by what the fans want in that case. Yeah, but you know, not only the, the fans, but also the uh, other designers who, uh, who play the game, and uh, we so it was yeah, it was our our feedbacks, players feedbacks, and uh, pairs feedbacks. Tenth anniversary, new version. Let's talk about what's different inside the box. Uh, on the mechanics, uh, mechanics themselves, there is a, a few changes on the some cards. Uh, in the old version, there are in H3 there are two cards uh, which uh, uh, three times in the H3, and it was a, a bit sad. For example, if you play a game, you could uh, end up with an end and three times the same cards. Uh, which was a, which was a, 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 bit, uh, a bit sad. So we uh, created two new cards, so we can cut off these uh, uh, these cards. So there are two new new cards for H3, and we uh, rebalance some points. For example, there are you know the, the cards are chaining. Uh, when mm -hmm. you build the card in H1, it can make you build the card for free in H2. So we change a, a, a bit of the of the chains. And also, uh, we um, we put extra points on the first uh, blue card, the blue card from the edge one, where uh, only two points, two victory points, and uh, we figured that that was very low, and nobody wants wants it to to play those cards, so we we raise them to uh, to three points. So it's as you can see, it's just minor things, but a few minor things made made the the whole game uh, better, I think. One of the things that interested me the most about this new version is that you've adapted it slightly to make it colorblind friendly. Can you tell us a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 this is a, a thing that the, the publishers uh, want to wanted to do on all their games. So uh, to be sure that the more people we can get to play the game, the, the best is for for everyone. So yeah, one of the the big changes to uh, to uh, to adapt the cards and uh, there are a lot of Resources and color in the game, so some people with a colorblind problem were were fighting to to play correctly. So yeah, the yeah that's not my work. So the publisher to, took a, a, a big effort to to make the 
the game uh, Colorblind Funding. Which I think is awesome. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a very good, uh, very good uh, improvement, I think. And we've also got new wonders as well. So these are slightly bigger. I, uh, yeah, I talked about the changing in the cards, but we, we also change a bit the, the wonder. So the board are, yeah, are wider and thicker. And uh, one thing I uh, really love is now it's not the same heart on the on the two sides of one wonder. So it used to be the same the the same heart on the both sides, and now you have a, a, a daytime heart work and a, and yeah and a nighttime heart work. So twice twice beautiful heart in the game, and also bigger. So yeah, it's it's also in a, a nice improvement. And are there any differences to the day and the night side, or you can just pick which whatever you're feeling. Uh, you, you you can play the the way you want, but uh, on the so the the night uh, no sorry sorry so the daytime side it's more uh, uh, easy easy if you if you are starting in the game if you are new in the game you you should start with uh, with daytime side and on the other side it's more yeah it's uh, it's a bit more uh, um, tricky so you have to to know the game first. And uh, we also changed some of the some of the powers on the on the on the on the wonders because again with a lot of feedback we we got yeah, we thought that some of the wonders were were causing trouble so some people so we tried to streamline uh, uh, as much as we can so again the more people can, who can play uh, the game the the more happy uh, we are. So we've just just lots of little tweaks that have just made it yeah, yeah. A Is it... much smoother, much much better game than yeah. I mean it already was. <laughs> yes, it's it are no a big change, but uh, yeah, like you said, a small minor things we we make the whole games and the whole playing experience better and greater. Yeah. And I did actually play this version yesterday. Okay. Um, and I th I have to say it does make a massive difference as well. Just yeah, all the, I, the small I, I, changes. I think... Yeah, I think yeah, and you know, perfection is in small details. So it's we try to 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 do the the best uh, new version we can uh, we can do. Yeah, I don't have a copy, so you have, you you are lucky to <laughs> to play on this one because I only played on the on the prototype version. But uh, I'm still waiting for for a copy to to grab and to open and to play with. So yeah. So that's the opportunity, uh, yes. Well, I'm never giving this one back. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, is coming home should, with me. Yeah, yeah, you should keep it. Yeah. Something I noticed about this uh, version, actually, is that there is no longer a two-player variant in the box. Um, yeah. What, what was the decision behind dropping that? Uh, it was a hard and long discussion with the with the publisher. In fact, uh, so there used to be a, a variant for two-player, but it was a variant. And uh, of course, uh, now there is the Seven Wonders Duel, which is a, a full only a two player only game so um, we were afraid that people misunderstand the, the difference and say this is the the dual version in the seven wonders game and everything and, and it was one extra page of rules and again we want to make the the game as simple as, uh, as we can so we decided after a long and long <laughs> long and long talks to uh, remove the two players variant in this uh, version but of course, if you know it, you can still uh, use it with the with the this version. So uh, no problem here. So again, just streamlined as well. Uh, just made yeah, the, the, the rules are streamlined as well, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. The the publishers uh, rework uh, the rules again, testing with with people, seeing what what points were difficult to understand and try to to make them better. So yeah, every every part of the game has been uh, rethink and reworked. I love that. I love that it's just slightly more accessible uh, because it just it it helps bring people into the hobby when you know they yeah. understand the game straight away. They love the game, so I think it's a really important thing, uh, a really important change to make. I think the the best experiences I had with this game it's people coming to me, you know, during uh, for example during fair and signing sanctions and say, oh, we we get into board games because of Seven Wonders because we discovered this game. And we didn't play game maybe besides Monopoly or something like that. Then Seven Wonders make us uh, come into the the board game hobby. So so yeah, I think if we we can continue to do that with the this new version. I think yeah, I, I I'm happy with that. It's the that must the, feel the best, amazing. 
yeah, it's the best fe feedback you can you can uh, hear as a game designer that you make new people come into the uh, the hobby. Let's move on to talking a little bit about the uh, anniversary versions and extensions to the game. Yeah. Um, because there are new anniversary or extensions to this version too. What are we starting with? So uh, uh, leaders and uh, cities expansion should be out very uh, sh a very short time after the, the the base game and the good news for uh, everyone is uh, we used to uh, publish uh, some booster pack for each of uh, those two extensions so there was cities and a booster pack for cities and leaders and a booster pack for leaders and so the card from the booster are now in the in the main box of the expansion so in the expansion you get the old expansion Plus the uh, the booster pack, so you you get everything in the in the box now. So this is this is very good. Uh, I'm I'm very glad that they can fit everything. Uh, and after that, there will be Armada. Uh, so, so the new version of Armada with again very few changes, very uh, very very few uh, one point of rule that we uh, we work so everybody can uh, understand it better. And the only big, uh, uh, I don't know, what interrogation point is uh, the ba Babel expansion, which was the uh, expansion uh, with less success. So we're still uh, discussing this one. So what, where, where do we have to change it, to cut it in two, to maybe not uh, republish it? We're not sure uh, yet. Let's touch a little bit on the new artwork because it is absolutely beautiful we've already mentioned the day and night sides to the new wonders yep. uh, but there are some other changes as well starting with the box um do you, can you tell us a little bit about it uh so yeah i'm <laughs> i'm very happy that there is a new heart on the box because to tell you the truth i i never liked the the old one uh <laughs> yeah it, it's okay uh, miguel the artist no no it's i love oh, this okay, work fine. and i love all the He's work he's not gonna find it out from this interview yeah, <laughs> Yeah, no, it's okay. But it's it's not his fault. No, he he, uh, he designed the cover that the publisher <laughs> asked him to uh, to. So it's it's the publisher's uh, fault, not not his. Okay. Uh, and I never I never like it. It it's 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 feel old, you know, because me it's not a, it's not the art only. It's uh, all the layout of the cover and everything. So this one is very it's better. No no problem on on that. And they uh, so they redo every every card, so the wonder and every cards. And um, in the first version, there was black borders on the card. So now it's the, it's a full no border card. So the art is bigger and uh, more more lightning. And uh, wait, I don't know if you can show show some on the, yeah, you the that, video. Yeah. So yeah, so the black border just uh, just yep. uh, appear. And Let's talk a little bit about my favorite uh, change that you have made, which is the fact that the backs of the cards are now oh, yeah. like super shiny yeah, and lovely. Out. They yeah. are so gorgeous. Yeah, I love them. We have a lot of trouble, maybe, you know, with the, 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 the old version, because on the third edge, the back were purple, and yeah. purple is the most difficult color to print for, uh, you know, for... Uh, for uh, for a printing industry, purple is oh, really? a difficult color to print. So, uh, between two uh, two different prints, we have a slight slightly difference between two purple. So it was it was very uh, a nightmare to the to um, for the productions. So we wanted to do something very very different, and the repos came with this uh, very nice uh, uh, solution. With all the bags are now black. But with the this metallic paint, uh, different from from each uh, each age. So I think it's bronze for uh, the first age, and silver for the gold, and gold for the the third age. So yeah, I think it's the mo the um, the part of the new uh, look uh, I, I prefer in the game is those new uh, new uh, backs. And I think. Um... You, you, as you said, like if all these small touches just make it just slightly more accessible um, to more casual players. Um, for example, I feel very confident that I can take this box home to my mum and say, "Let's play this game," and she's gonna she is gonna love the colours, she's gonna love the cards, and she that's gonna help her buy into playing the game. 
Yeah, uh, I'm agree. I want to make my mom play again because I tried to make her, her play on the the first uh, <laughs> the first version and she she had trouble. Uh, so so I, I try again with with this one. Yeah, uh, I your would mom do the same here. Your game? Uh, yeah, she plays some of my games, but this one is is you know just the level will start to be a little complex for her and for her taste. But with the with the new versions and the new new heart and everything, I, I know uh, she uh, she can uh, try again uh, to to play a whole whole game of this one. Yeah, absolutely. Just give her the streamlined rules and she'll yeah. get it. <laughs> so now I want to talk a little bit about you. You mentioned yep. uh, at the beginning that you've been designing games for twelve years. How is it yep. that you got into board game design? Uh, well, when I was a teenager, I wanted to work in the video game industry, in fact. So uh, I made computer science to be able to uh, work in the video games. And I tried to uh, work in the video game industry, but it was very difficult to find a job where you can be creative, you know. There are video games, the big industry, and a, a big teams with a lot of people, and it's uh, very hard to find a, a post when you can make the game design of the game so uh, so when i when i was uh, at the end of my studies uh, i changed uh, i moved to a new city and i and i ended up with a friend in a board game uh, board game club and i just discovered modern board game and then i say oh maybe if i cannot find what what i want to do in the video game industry maybe i can design board game because i can do that you know, at my desk with just a computer, a printer, a pair of scissors and everything. So as I discovered modern board game, I'd started to design my first prototype. And uh, my first game, I think, was released in uh, 2007. And then Seven Wonders came out in 2010. And with Wait, the use Seven Wonders was your second game? Uh, no, no, you not not the second game, but maybe the fourth or five. I'm not sure. You struck gold fairly early there. <laughs> yeah, and and the, and this game, the the success of the games uh, allowed me to uh, quit my uh, my day job, which which was school teaching uh, by the uh, by the time, and to start to make a board game uh, full time. So uh, yeah, yeah. Everything started with the video game industry and uh, my my failure in the video game industry. In fact. <laughs> And then you yeah. made Seven Wonders, <laughs> the mo world's most awarded board game. Yeah. And well, the the fun fact is, uh, I designed this game because by uh, I was uh, at the end of my studies, and in my playing group we were seven players each night, and there are very few games that you can play uh, at seven. You can play party games, of course, you can play Times Up or games like that, but if you want to play uh, strategic games. But you you cannot you cannot uh, find anything, so you you have to make two groups, you know, table of three, table of four, but and say, okay, I want to make a strategic game, and I want I want us to play all the seven, and the the first ID for seven wonders came from this situation. In fact, we are we were seven at the at board game nights. So, what is the one thing that you always keep in mind when you're designing a new game? Uh. Um, I usually try to think of the game as the story I want to tell, because I, I never start with you know mechanics or mathematics. I always start with a story or a situation. So and now with the experience is again it's I want uh, that maybe uh, every every uh, every uh, people can play my game. So I make very accessible family friendly games. I'm not into very hardcore games. Because again, the the best reward it was is when some someone comes to you and say, "Okay, I know I'm playing board game because I discover your games." It's it's really something with uh, matter for me. So, who are your go-to playtesters? So I have this little group of friends. We came my, at my house uh, once a week, and they are the yeah they are the first uh, the first circle the, the always the same person that that uh, play the, the first steps of the prototypes or the step that doesn't work eh, usually. <laughs> uh, but they know they are, they are coming to work on, the, on the, those first prototypes. So it's always the same bunch of friends and, and, my, and my, my wife too, because she's here at the table. So she has to play, uh, she has to play too much. She doesn't like to play the first stages of the prototype. She likes when it's working, but she, she plays anyways. Oh, 
Oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> this, this is my favorite question. <laughs> um, so if you could have picked any game in the world to have designed, which one would it be and why? Um, yeah, it, it would be The Mind, I think, which was the, I think it's the most, the, yeah, the, it, it was a blast. Uh, it's only time in my, my 12 years as a board game designer that, that the game, yeah, blast me the, like, the, like The Mind. I think it's, it's perfect, it's brilliant, it's, it's maybe three lines of rules, anyone can play and have fun, it's a, yeah, it's, I think it's a, really a masterpiece, yeah. I actually think you're not the first person to answer yeah, that question I hope. with the mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, hope, I hope I'm not the only one. I think it's, it's, yeah, it's really brilliant. It is. I remember when I first got shown it, I was watching it and I went, is this, is this a game? And then I sat down yeah. and played and I went, oh, this is a game. <laughs> this is really good. Yeah. <laughs> when I uh, read the rule for the first time, I, I was, yeah it's, yeah, it's not working, it can be. And the first yeah. game was really a blast, and uh, I played a lot. And I, I have many, many people uh, played. My mother can play. Uh, a lot of <laughs> friends who doesn't play board games enjoy this game, and uh, I think it's it's really brilliant. And I, I'm sure in ten or twenty years we will uh, playing the still playing uh, the mine. So my last question for you, Antoine, is one that I always end our interviews on, and it's why do you think that board games change the world? Uh, yeah, I think usually board game make people happy. So uh, by making people happy, I think you yeah you changing the world again a bit, maybe just a bit, but it's uh, it's an important little bit. So yeah, it's it's making people uh, happy. Amazing. It should well... be. It should be. <laughs> it should make people. Happy. If you if you if you cannot achieve to do that, it's it's a prototype. It, it, it must be bad. So you have to to work again. But. Uh, he wants to, to make uh, yeah, people having a, a good time uh, with the games. Well, you have made me very happy with this beautiful new version of Seven Wonders, um, <laughs> which glad. comes out <laughs> in September. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. And everyone can find out more information in the link below if they would like to. Thank you so much for joining us, Antoine. Yeah, thank you. I hope to see you again soon. Okay, take care. Bye. Bye.